Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about Lucid. Um, I want to give you guys some update. Um, there's some stuff that's been going on, uh, some stuff that happened even today. I want to make sure that I give you guys that update and give you guys my game plan uh, moving forward. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Lucid Model, guys, again, you guys know I'm huge in the stock. I'm huge in the company. I think they have a really bright future ahead of them. Uh, but in the process to get to that promised land, you're going to go through a really bumpy ride. So you can see some ups and downs. And I try to give you guys some guidance along the way so that way you don't panic uh, as you continue to ride the way uh, to the promised land. So if you guys have been following, when I see that this stock is probably going to take a beating, I'll let you guys know. When I see that this stock is probably going to pop, I'll let you guys know. So for people that are swinging or people that want to get into the stock, I try to give you guys as much information about this company as much as possible because you know like i said i'm into the stock so if you guys remember today was supposed to be the dream drive day for lucid motor so this was a day where they wanted to come out and show some of the technologies that uh, the dream air currently has so kind of just do a, a, a demo or just a display of um, the technology that is currently in the dream air for people that are going to be getting um, the dream air in their um, very next delivery so Again, I wasn't super excited about the outcome of that, the, of the, the dream drive day. So if you can jump here, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, so today, you know, kind of the dream drive, they were supposed to reveal some really good advanced technology um, as far as their driver assistance system. And I thought this was going to be real time. I mean, again, that was just my personal take. Uh, I was hoping uh, for real time demo where they can actually show us how the technology works real time but what lucy did was they did a pre-recorded video which to me was a little bit disappointing i wanted to see the technology in real time if you're showing people that this thing can do power parking by itself and it's easy to just do that quick real time and and you know show people how that works so from that perspective i was a little bit disappointed but it doesn't mean that I'm disappointed in the stock or in the company. I'm not disappointed in the company. I still hold them in a very high esteem like I've always done. So what does that mean for me moving forward? So right now, if we get past the stage where Lucy is trying to get into delivery, um, you're going to see a lot of people that want to get to the stock, like the big name, the big um, uh, investment firms are going to want to get in. So the game plan would be they're going to push this thing down. So they're going to shut the hell out of this thing and put it down so that they can get in low so again that's my speculation here so if i'm holding the stack what do i do from that perspective what i'm going to do is i'm going to write some cover calls um to against my current um shares so let's say i own a thousand shares eh? that's just a hypothetical number uh, what i can do is i'm going to write a cover call for at least 500 so in that way if i part way with 500 stocks i'm, I'm fine with it so i'm going to write that cover call um looking somewhere maybe about like the 27 28 dollar uh strike price um and then write that cover call so that if the stock drops then i would make some money with those calls and if it ever gets up to that point and then I can actually still make money based off my entry point. So that's my game plan. Um, but again, if you are not in the stock, what I'll suggest is wait for this thing to calm down. So let's just jump here um, in the chart here and kind of take a look. If you're not in the stock, what I want you to do is um, the levels that I, I have identified here, and I, I've done this several times here on the channel uh, with this particular stock, so you guys can actually see. So if we look down here, this level is right here. Um, that's about $19 and some change that has always um, in, in stuck and be support for Lucid um, ever since they made this massive move um, to the upside. This was a while back. This is some back in February or so. But ever since then, $19 and some change has been that support. So it usually comes down there um, and then bounce back. If you can see here, even at 20, 21, it does usually bounce somewhere around there. But I'm taking the lower end, which is at $19. So if you are looking to get in, 
um, start looking somewhere around yeah somewhere around here that 21 and then if it keeps coming down to 19 just keep adding um, your position so right now the only catalyst that I, I see in the pipeline would be the delivery but in the meantime like I said I anticipate that short sellers are gonna come in and beat the living hell out of the stock. So anticipate kind of a pullback. It won't surprise me if this thing can pull back into that twenty nineteen dollar price point again, um, just because short sellers are going to want to, uh, you know, make some money as well as big investment firms don't want to pay a lot of money for their shares. They want to buy it cheap, so they're going to want to push that price down. So definitely keep an eye on that. If you are holding the stock long term. Um, I mean, your game plan here will be probably write some cover calls, maybe around $28 um, dollar strike point, and, and that would be the only thing. But if you're looking to get in, I'll say still wait. There's room for this thing to pull back. Um, where if this thing pull back under, uh, let's say around 20 bucks, you start your position and then add as it goes down to this $19 price point here. So um, that would be what I anticipate here. So just to kind of give you guys a quick recap here for what just happened. Lucid Air um, today, October 12th, was supposed to do their Dream Drive, um, you know, day. And so the purpose of that was to reveal uh, some of their driver assisting uh, technology and the vehicle in the um, Lucid Air vehicle. So um, again, like I said, I was a little bit disappointed because I was hoping that they would do like a live uh, demo, but instead they had a pre-recorded video, which you can see right here. So if you go to um, lucidmodels.com and you can see uh, the videos right here, which is pre-recorded. So to me, it was a little bit of a disappointment because I, I expected more and um what i saw was um you know them doing a pre-recorded video which kind of disappointed me so um uh, right now again like i said lucid i anticipate that lucid is going to pull back so as i'm doing this video lucid sitting somewhere about 22 dollars and um 85 cents um anticipate this thing to pull down even some it, it wouldn't surprise me if this thing goes down and, and go test uh 20 uh in the meantime which from that perspective it would be a great opportunity for people that are looking to get in to start uh, a position and add as it continues to drop if it does drop so i'm going to do a, another video it's going to give you guys an update as we approach um the delivery so again i want to make sure that you guys have this information because for um the people that are you know around lucid so we have three kinds of people right we'll probably have uh long-term investors which i fall in that category you have swing traders, which are some of the people. I mean, I do swing lucid, but I swing it from the perspective where I could do cover calls or sometimes from my trading account, um, I can swing it. And then you have people that just day trade it. So this uh, message right here is specifically for people that are looking to hold long term investors because this is a bumpy ride. Because one, one day you see Lucid at $28, the next day you're seeing it back at $21. So there's that, that whole range of movements. So I want to make sure that you understand and be ready and know exactly what to do during that period. So again, let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys think. Are you currently in Lucid? If not, are you looking to open the position? If you are holding Lucid, do you have a game plan? Again, for me, this is the future. I'm holding long term. I'm just taking advantage of movements in the market. We cover calls against the position that I already own. Again, that's just my strategy. So I want to hear what you guys are doing with your stacks. Let me know again in the comment section. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up, you get free stocks, free crypto. Definitely go check them out. I have a link in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a green savage. Stay motivated. Oh, 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 oh,